Okay, we're um, replacing trick riders tonight. I'm hoping I haven't brought a trick rider with me, but um, this is Nathan. Sorry, Nathan, yes. wrong button. Back to you. Um, we've been asked to do a just like a lesson with um, our para rider Nathan. Um, yeah, maybe we'll just run through what, what he runs through at home. I think that um, Jason's got sort of a um, a bit of a background on Nathan, and then maybe we'll get started. Thanks, John. Now, Nathan was born autistic and did not communicate until he was given a black pony named Tommy. After years of pony club, Nathan ceased riding because of the many operations as he developed keratoconus. This left Nathan blind, and after a few cornea replacements, Nathan is left blind. Nathan began riding again this year after being influenced by Donna Morton from Local Horse Magazine. Nathan was classified this year by Para Equestrian as a Level 4 rider. Nathan is also qualified this year for the Special Olympics after winning all three qualifiers. And Nathan will represent the Gold Coast region at the State Championships in September 2013 at SQEC. Then on to Melbourne for the National Games, followed by Newcastle and the 2014 Special Olympics. Our tour has been graciously helping Nathan to further his career on Tour's horse Gemma, which he is riding tonight. Tour has also been donating his time to help Nathan. And Nathan is also a member of the Kabulcha Dressage Club. First thing I want to say about Nathan is he helps out at our place at least four days a week and he would probably come seven days if he was allowed. And one thing about Nathan that's amazing, he works every day no problems, but I've never seen him not smiling. I think that is the number one thing in a barn that you have to smile because if you don't, it's a, it's a fairly desperate place. But um, and Nathan, when he gets home from work, sometimes he puts on Facebook what he's done on that day and I think that's quite a little bit sort of put it outlines the horse business. He always writes in it first I did the boxes, then I swept the floors. I fed the horses, did the boxes, swept the floors, raked the arena in, raked the round yard in, did the boxes, swept the floors, and fed the horses. So that I think that outlines the horse business more than anything. But he's always with a smile. He absolutely loves this man. This will be a big ask for I think for Nathan and the mayor. Um, She's, she's very quiet, she's a very talented mare actually, and I've ridden the mare Priest of George into one, um, only for this year. She said she, she got dropped in the deep end a little bit, I don't think she was the most experienced horse when I took her out, but she went straight to Boneo Park for her first outing, so that was interesting. But um, she's, she's placed at nearly all the CDIs she's been to, straighter in the neck, mate, straight in the neck. And um, so, and her biggest fan is Nathan. He takes about 5,000 photos off her a day and yeah, not very good for productivity. But um, the most important thing I think about for what Nathan is going to do later is the mayor has to have enough talent to get him around a test, like to get him around a, a decent test. This mayor will, without a problem. Um, then she's very genuine. She's extremely genuine. So, and this is actually what I see here, she's a little bit sort of nervous and looking around when she isn't normally. Um, and again, Jason, um, Nathan doesn't know 100%, so she doesn't know him. So we just start. Uh, how's she feel, Nate? Is she alright? You're smiling? That's good. No trick riding, alright? We're only replacing them. Okay, straight in the neck. Think about it. Now, the first time I gave Nathan a lesson, he's trotting around the arena at Caboolture, and I said, I was telling him just rising trot, and he's come around the corner, I thought he's going to hit the fence, and then I realised he was blind. He didn't know where the fence was, but that's, that's all good. We worked that out now and we know. Okay, remember how we put our legs on, Nate? Can you sit taller? Close your hands. Caitlin, you just make your circle smaller. Okay, you start to take charge now, Nate. I think the hardest thing for Nathan to go from his horse, who is his lovely horse, really quiet, but maybe not as through in the neck as this horse and, and as, as responsive to the aids, it's just to learn how to keep the mare between the eight. So he has to be able to feel her with his legs, close his hand enough that she knows to stay round. Good. Left leg, Nate. It's your right, Kate. Good. Okay. 
Straight up, hip on left, take an aim. Inside leg. Good boy. Good. That's good. Keep your outside hand straighter in the neck. You think about how straight she is. Turn. Good. So if you watch teenage girls all warming up in a, at a pony club thing, no one turns for anyone else, they all run into each other. Nathan's like that, but he doesn't mean it. Okay, both legs. Do you want to squank a 20 meter circle around me and Nate? 20 meter circle, good boy. How she feel, okay? That's all right, still like her? That's good. Do you want to start a little bit of trot? And we only go four strides, yeah? So ask her to trot for four strides and then walk. Good, ask again, no problems. Good boy, sit really tall, turn. Good boy, change your diagonal, mate. Change your diagonal, sit two beats, good boy. Now bigger drop, close your hands more. Good boy. The hardest thing for Nathan to have learned, turn. The hardest thing for Nathan to have learned is to have a horse that's light in the contact. It was really, that's a big surprise for me, keep an eye on a little bit more try. The biggest surprise for me was being able to keep that balance in his upper body without having anything in the hand, like when there's quite light. Both legs down, mate, and show everyone how you can make a rounder, mate. Good boy. Not too big. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Good. Now put your legs on again and make her a little bit smaller, a little bigger in the trot, mate. Good boy. Now put your legs on and she drops her nose a bit. There's a boy. Good. Now bend it to the inside, mate. Good boy. Yeah, good. While we've all been nervous at the stables, not like I've been a wreck before my into one freestyle, Nathan's been so excited. I've just never seen someone so excited about doing this. He's not nervous at all. Okay. We're going to go around the arena a little bit now, Nate. Keep it between the hand and leg. Every time you feel that she wants to get a little bit heavy, you put your leg on, but don't let the steps get too big. Up the long side, concentrate. She's not Robbie, she'll fall over the arena. Turn early. Turn, Nate. Okay, show me that you can change back a gear, Nathan. Come a bit smaller. Turn. Good. Now make her smaller in the trot, Nate. And now bigger in the trot. Now, I don't know if you guys saw when I did Harold the horse. Turn. I did Harold the horse, and they blindfolded me to do a line of tempi ones. I'll tell you what, that was an experience. I could see all the way to the corner, but then I couldn't see through the short side and then for the ones. It's quite interesting not being able to see and riding. It's really different. 20 meter circle, Nathan. Make her small again. Good boy. Good. When you finish the circle, make a walk transition. Turn early. Good boy, Nathan. Inside leg. And make a walk transition. Give her a pat. Long range. So the hardest transition for Nathan, I think, to go from maybe a horse with less schooling and then onto this mare with a little bit more schooling and sharper to the aids was just being able to balance himself. It was amazing. I taught him the week before on a horse, on his horse, and had no problems. It looked like there wasn't a problem at all. And then he, he gets on jam. This is the first time he's been off the lunge on this mare. Um, but we we put him on jam, but high he couldn't balance. Yeah, every time the mirror go forward, he's hooked because there's nothing in the hand. Yeah? It was quite interesting how, how he's, and it's very quick how he's learned. Change direction, mate. How's your feel? Is he alright? Don't want to sell her? She's beautiful, is she, mate? Good. Okay, now you're going to make her round again. Close your hands. Draw your reins up, turn early, don't end up in the judges' tables. Good boy, a little bit shorter reins. She is the most giving horse, it's just amazing. And up here on a 20 meter circle, we're going to start rising trot again. Okay, red mate, let's go. Circle, circle mate, 20 meter circle, good boy. A little bit rounder now, so close your fingers a little bit. Don't let it run, don't let it get too long. A little bit shorter. Boy. Okay, on this circle, get your bearings. Look where you're going. 
Good, there's a boy. Bend a little bit more to the inside. Good boy. Okay, now put your leg on. Bend her a little bit to the inside and just see how that she gets a little bit rounder in the neck for you. Good boy, mate. Now some shorter steps, so just slowly rising. Legs on, legs on. Turn early. And then up the long side. The same thing, a little bit bigger and smaller, mate. Good, now go bigger again. Turn. Okay, what happens if I wasn't looking then? Were you going to say turn? Turn. Good, now bigger. Good. Good boy, Nate. Short steps again for me. Good boy. Circle again. Turn. Good, leg on, make her round again. And a 20 meter circle, circle. Bend her more. Good boy, Nate. Okay, sitting tight and then a walk transition. Good boy. Well done. Little pat. Good. Change direction. We do a little bit of counter. Huh? Good. It's quite a big thing. Like it's amazing when you, you take it for granted a little bit to be able to come and do something like this, but it really is amazing. And to watch Nathan tonight, it's quite amazing. Okay, 20 minute circle, Nate. Go to bed, show them how fast you can go on the counter, eh? You ready? Okay, let's go. Left circle, concentrate, don't run off yet. 20 meter circle, Nathan. We might bring you down here a little bit further away from the exit. Let's face it, Jen doesn't mind the idea of having a rest and she probably thinks that's a more comfortable place up there. Okay, you ready? All good? 20 meter circle, smile then, Nate. Eh? Tyler, around how much you smile. Good, bend a little bit more to the inside, a little bit slower drop. Remember, we don't let it get too long. Bend to the inside. Okay, you ready? And canter. Turn early. Ask her. Good, now bend. Turn. Good boy. It's quite funny when Caitlin teaches him at home, you can tell he's getting close to the fence with how desperate she is in her voice when she's saying turn. Good boy, now go up the long side a little bit. It's got too long. Come on, looks like Robbie, don't let it get long. That's a boy. Inside leg, don't pop out the gate. Now turn. Good boy, turn. Good boy, Nathan. 20 meter circle. Well done. And a trot transition. Good, change direction. So you want to go on a diagonal through your corners, turn. Change your diagonal, mate. Again, sit your beat. Stay on that one. It'll be easier when you go this way. Good boy. You know, I was taking my shoes off, my work boots off, look up, okay. Um, I was taking my riding boots off and a spider ran across the floor and I said to Nathan, jump on the spider. And I forgot he can't see anything. And he's looking around, looking for this spider. I said, just walk around in a circle. So he got it then. 20 meter circle. Good boy. Bend her a little bit inside. She's too long again, huh? Good boy, Nathan. Gonna count up. You ready? Let's go. Outside leg back. Nice and turn early. Where are you going? And the other. Good boy, turn early. Good boy, inside leg, sit down. Just sit there. Now bend around the inside leg. Good boy, do nothing, just sit, just sit there. Now bend, bend her inside, mate. Good, now you're going to go through the bottom corners. Good, down the long side. Inside leg. Good. You got him, Caitlin, you're going to cut him off. Turn. Good boy, Nathan. Good, a 20 meter circle here. And trot on, on the track. Good boy, pat. Okay, little walk, give her a big pat. This, and if you would have seen Nathan only a week ago with this man, it's quite incredible.
saw. Did you see the prestige go last night? Didn't see the Grand Prix. Did you see fish go at home? Do you want to do some PR? What do you think? You reckon? Okay, down here. Okay, hold. Now make it really round for me. Make it round. Good boy, legs on. Legs, don't come from your hands. Boy, give it a rub on the neck. Give it a rub on the neck. Okay, walking. Okay, you're not going to do anything special with the track. Okay, ready? Maybe not on a circle. Just close your hands a little bit, then she doesn't run away. I'd just like to say a big thanks to Mar Marlies for letting me use this horse. I love this horse very much. And I'd like to say a big thanks to the Tor Benderberg team for letting me do this tonight. And thanks to the people who have supported me tonight. Thank you very much, everyone. Marlise, I wouldn't say anything, so I had to let Nathan do it. But that's that's about all, and, and that's pretty cool what we did. Like, if you were so seen him last last week, it's quite amazing. Sorry, thank you. Thank you very much to Joel, Nathan, and Caitlin. Fantastic job. Have another big round of applause for them all. Also, Nathan has been addressed by Nathan Sackler, who is also part of the Pride's Easy Feed team, Vanderbilt sponsored rider team as well. Now, also, too, Nathan will be performing a part de deux with Chelsea Sphinx uh, and Amputee at the Gap World Cup next Sunday. And this year alone, Nathan's wins are Young Rider Power Equestrian Champion Rider 2013, Reserve Champion Para Dressage Dugan and won all qualifiers for the Special Olympics. And he hopes he continue on and on for many years to come. So thank you very much to all. Fantastic job he did as well. 